So I recently purchased a Commodore video monitor. Never had one before, but I've always heard how phenomenal these displays are for retro gaming. So as soon as I laid my eyes at this one at my local retro shop, I knew I had to have it, so I brought it right back home. It supports composite, which is the yellow cable, and it only has one single audio speaker, so mono is going to be the only choice we have for now. Taking a look in the back, I noticed some extra inputs for chroma, luma, and audio. This apparently was used for newer Commodore models that used the three jack cable, which gave better resolution than composite. However, since I don't have one, I have no business being back here. Popped in my favorite game of all time, and I quickly fell in love with the picture quality. Even though it's only composite out, I always forget how amazing these games look on an old-fashioned CRT compared to your average flat screen today. I'll go ahead and show you a few more games so you can get a nice variety. And I must apologize for the picture quality. However, it's hard to show a CRT display without you folks actually being here. However, trust me, it's a nice picture. After some time, I wondered if somehow I could get a better picture. Because, why not? At first I found a few modded video tutorials where some users mod their Commodores by taking them apart and installing some components. But I was not ready to open this puppy just yet. So I turned my attention again to the back of the Commodore monitor and did some research on what Chroma and Luma exactly were. Without getting too much into detail, in video, Luma represents the brightness in image, the black and white, while Chroma components represent the color information. Upon more research, I learned that S-Video works in a similar fashion. It also uses a Chroma and Luma signal, as uh, represented in pins 4 and 3 in this diagram. And after a few Google searches, I found this adapter. The link will be in the description below, but it's an S-Video to RCA Luma Chroma adapter. This will allow an S-Video plug to connect via the separate YC RCA connectors. Plug that in and... Oh. This will not work. After more digging, I found the last piece I will hopefully need, and it's this S-Video adapter female to female. Let's try this once more. Keep in mind, you will need S-Video compatible cables with whatever console it is that you're running. You need to flip the switch to let your CRT know you're wanting to use the rear cable, and silly me forgot to connect the audio. Don't forget to do that. And just like that, now we have this video connection with our Commodore. And the results, it's much more clear, sharper, less fuzzy, and colors look more vibrant. I don't think I have to explain too much how S-Video is a bit more superior than your standard yellow composite cable. However, now that we're taking full advantage of that 3-jack plug-in, we can squeeze out the best picture quality without any hardware modifications. And if you remember, 
that was only meant for the newer Commodore PC models. With this method, you can even have two consoles plugged in, front and back. And when you need to, just flip the switch to the one you prefer to play on. That's it for today. I hope this was helpful. And if you happen to have this Commodore model the same, then I recommend this setup. If you do decide to give this a try, then please let me know what you think and leave a comment. Stay safe and I'll see you next time.